Hi, this is Jeff, and I want to give you a demo of GoForms for Android. With GoForms, we let you take the paper forms you've used in your business for two weeks or 20 years and turn them into smart mobile forms in minutes. They look exactly like your paper forms, only they're better because we enable things like drop downs, auto calculations, data sources to pre populate information, and sketch tools. GoForms also enables things that aren't traditionally easy to add to paper forms like GPS maps and images. But we're more than just a smart forms app. GoForms is a complete business solution that not only simplifies mobile forms and electronic data, but it integrates reporting, collaboration, and workflow. And with our open API, you can integrate GoForms with other business systems in real time. This demo looks at some of the key elements of GoForms, including how to convert a paper form to a smart mobile form, the GoForms mobile app for Android, viewing completed forms and data, and automating workflow. So for the demo here, I'm going to start off with a uh, simple work order report that a company may use to capture a variety of different information during a work order. Uh, the process to create a GoForms template, which is a reusable version of this form, is pretty straightforward. Uh, you navigate to the GoForms website, select the Templates tab, create a new template, browse for the template you want to select. Give it a name and upload that document or that form into GoForms. And now you'll see that we've got that same work order report form in our editor here. And to create this uh, smart mobile form, it's as simple as dragging and dropping a variety of different information. For example, I may want to take a text box or a checkbox and uh, put it right here in this location here, for example. Or I may need a simple signature box, for example, to place on my form down here. Or perhaps a date that I need to add to this line here. A variety of different field types can be selected within GoForms to populate that, uh, that template and create this kind of smart mobile form concept. Now, for the sake of time, I'll fast forward and uh, fill out the rest of this form. And here you can see I've completely configured this uh, form. I've got things like dates, check boxes, text areas for things like customer name, phone address, city, etc. I've got some table areas for parts used with descriptions, part numbers, etc. I've got tables for hours uh, on the job, signatures. I've even created a second page here for things like GPS fields, uh, images, sketch fields, etc. So now that we've uh, completely configured this template, why don't we take a look at this on an Android tablet. Okay, here I've got a Nexus 7 uh, sitting next to me and I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch the GoForms app. You would have logged in, I've already logged in here, but you would log into the GoForms app and if you wanted to access that template that we just created, you could go ahead and click the Templates button and you'll see there's that work order report uh, template that we just created. I'll go ahead and launch that and here's the form. Again, it looks and smells just like the paper form that uh, we've used to set up the template in the first place. In this case, since I've configured this to support a variety of different field types, I'll kind of walk through these quickly to give you a flavor for what can be done. Uh, first thing is we have the concept of an auto-generated uh, number from the server side. So you can create a unique uh, number for every single document that's created from a template. And this is a unique work order number here. I have a date field that in this case is auto-populated as soon as you launch the form. I've got a concept of checkboxes. So I could go ahead and select a checkbox here. <clears throat> but uh, much like uh, different types of checkbox fields, there's concept of mutually uh, inclusive checkboxes where I can select a variety of different options. Maybe I want sugar and cream in my coffee, for example, or we could have mutually exclusive checkbox groups such as I only like uh, sugar or cream in my coffee. In this case, it's exclusive. I can only select one of these checkboxes at a time. Uh, I can't have a job status in complete and in progress. In this case, I'll show it as complete. Uh, we have the concept of database fields. So in terms of company name, I could upload a simple database to GoForms of, let's say, a variety of different um, customers. I could go ahead and uh, type, uh, let's say, um, a couple of options here to narrow down my choices. Uh, 
let's say I want to select San Diego Home Care, and because I've got a data source here with information on phone number, address, city, state, etc., I can pre-populate those fields by selecting a, one of the options in that drop-down list. We have the concept of simple text fields, so I could go ahead and select this uh, PO number. I'll create a simple one for now. Not too exciting, but I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, we have the concept of drop down. So for technician, I could go ahead and select any of the drop down fields, or I could go ahead and s simply select an other category and type in someone who's not there, for example. Again, you can allow that or not allow that. It's up to you how you set up the system. Uh, we have a simple uh, text box field here. I'm not going to go into the details, but I could type in a paragraph or so of text, multi line. I have the concept of uh, a table or table data spreadsheet functionality. Let's look at it that way. So in this case, I want a list of variety of parts used. I want to first select the manufacturer. In this case, I'll go ahead and select uh, Cisco. And I want to select a specific part number. So I'll go ahead and select that particular part number. There's a description associated with that part number in the, in the system. So I can bring that up. Uh, there's also a unit price here. In this case, I'm going to also uh, select a quantity here. Uh, let's say I'll just select a quantity of one. And when I go ahead and select that, um, it automatically calculates the price. So we have the concept of calculations within the spreadsheet table that we've created, and that can automatically be triggered. Uh, let me go ahead and select another manufacturer to give you an idea of the fact that we can also index these databases. So before, when I selected Cisco, uh, only Cisco parts appeared. In this case, I'll go ahead and select Aruba as the manufacturer, and you'll see that now there are a set of Aruba part numbers. I'll go ahead and select, uh, let's say, that particular part. I will go ahead and uh, select a quantity of 12, and uh, Go, you will see that the uh, calculation is uh, created there. The subtotals and adjusted totals are uh, updated as well. So again, the concept of table, spreadsheet functionality. Uh, we also have the concept of conditional logic. So for example, in the discount level, I may not want my technicians to know a specific discount level, 12.5%, 13%, whatever it is. I could simply have a platinum, gold, silver. Let's say in this case, it's a silver customer. Uh, and that could automatically, the system could base uh, know that silver discount is a specific number. It can calculate that discount, adjust the total appropriately. Same thing with things like tax rate. I don't need to know specifically what the tax rate is for Orange County, but I could go ahead and calculate that and update the totals appropriately. The, uh, also, what I could do is I could start to look at not just traditional numbers, etc., but I could also look at uh, things like uh, calculate hours. So I could go ahead and select that technician name again. I could go ahead and select a start time. I could go ahead and uh, select an end time, for example. If I wanted to update that, I could go ahead and uh, choose another uh, number here. I could go ahead and, let's say, up that uh, to this, for example, and see that I've added another 55 minutes into this job. I could continue and do that. Okay. Uh, we have signature fields here. I'll get back to those in a second. We have uh, date fields, as you've seen. I could adjust the date if need be, or I could prevent the technician from adjusting that date, for example. Now, in terms of this particular form, we've captured some basic data here, and that's all fairly straightforward. But one of the nice things about GoForms is you could also capture data that's not traditionally uh, used or provided on a paper form. Things like uh, a G embedding a GPS map, for example. I could go ahead and select this map. I could look at it from a satellite view, for example, and go ahead and uh, accept that and have it appear, not just the map itself, but also the latitude and longitude coordinates that we could uh, export for example, later on. In addition to map uh, fields, uh, I could include a simple image, for example. I could go ahead and select the camera, and I've taken a picture uh, right outside my office here. It's a cloudy day here in San Diego, which is unusual. So you can see I have that image there. I will go ahead and uh, select a different type of field set here. So we also have the concept of sketches. So I can go ahead and select that particular field. I could go ahead and take my finger here, go ahead and start to draw on this particular uh, field uh, and do something like that, for example, and embed a very simple uh, diagram that I've sketched. Or if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do something like select one of those images that um, I had uh, created before. I'll go ahead and select uh, this particular image here. 
and embed that within my document, but I also have a variety of other tools that I could select. For example, I might want to uh, highlight a particular area of this, uh, uh, of this uh, diagram here. Let's say I just want to highlight this particular area here. Uh, I need to move that down and rotate it slightly. Okay, so I have a variety of different tool types that I could use to embed these, uh, these types of, uh, of images. Okay, one of the other things you might notice is we have, you'll see at the top here, we have the concept of replicated fields. So I had uh, included or created this PO number as part of that initial uh, data capture that I did here. But since we have the concept, since these are forms and they may be multi-page forms that you perhaps at some point might need to print, hand to somebody and they may get uh, you know out of order, you may lose a copy, we have the concept of replicated fields. So I could go ahead and uh, let's say I needed to update this particular um, uh, field type here. If I go back to the original uh, original page here, you'll see that that PO number has been updated. So again, the concept of replicated fields. I can put a, a field, fill it out once anywhere on my document and have it appear multiple places on that document. As we get to the end here, I'll go ahead and as I said, we've got the concept of signatures. Fairly straightforward. I could go ahead and type a particular uh, signature there. Uh, we have the concept of required fields. So for example, I could uh, require that this particular field be completed before the document can be completed. There are a variety of different uh, things that I could do. One of the other interesting things about GoForms is that you see here we call this uh, form layout view because again it looks and smells like a paper form but let's say you've got a smaller form factor device like a smartphone with a smaller screen we have the concept of what we call uh, uh, list view where I could go ahead and select the, the particular uh, form itself and display all of these text fields that I've captured all of the different uh, uh, check boxes etc etc uh, I can capture those as a simple list of fields that um, are accessible by my uh, folks in the field um, whatever way is the most effective for them in this case I've kind of organized this to make it a little bit easier to uh, view the information as opposed to one long list of all the fields that are on the page we can sub organize that and that sort of thing so again if you're on a uh, smaller form factor device that makes it easier to capture that kind of information any information that's compared uh, ca uh, captured in one view uh, shows up in the other view as well now let's say I've gone ahead and I've uh, completed or captured all of the information I want to at this point. We offer a variety of different options in an ad hoc basis that you could trigger. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and complete that particular form, or let's say I needed to rename it. In this case, we've got a standardized naming convention for this form, which makes it easier to track on the back end if I need to find it. But I could rename it if I wanted to. Uh, you could delete that form. You could copy it. I could go ahead, for example, and select email and email it to somebody right from the particular device and even select the different pages of that form that I want to email it to them. Maybe I only want to email the first page or pages 1, 4, and 5 for example. So you can go ahead and do those types of things. Um, we also have the concept of collaboration. So I could literally transfer this particular form to one of the other users in my account. Simply select that user, transfer it, that form leaves my device and now appears on their device. So let's say, uh, for example, I have now uh, gone ahead and finished my document. I want to go ahead and uh, complete it. I'll go ahead and select the complete button. And now you'll see this particular document looks and smells like a piece of paper. It's now in a configured PDF format and everything is ready to go. Now, back in the management screen, uh, you can see that uh, the device has now synced. It syncs automatically. It can work online or offline. In this case, it's been online. It's synced. And you can see that particular form that I captured here, the San Diego Home Care, was completed. I can actually take a look at the coordinates of where it was completed. I can also bring up a PDF version of that particular document. In this case, I want to show all the pages of that particular document, not just a few, but I could download that send out a copy uh, to a variety of uh, uh, my customers, for example, if they needed to see it. And as you can see, here's that particular um, uh, form that was completed in the field, complete with all of the imagery, the GPS maps, the images, the sketches, etc.
One last thing I want to discuss is the concept of workflow within GoForms. We have the capability of creating events or managing events associated with a particular template. So in this case, I've created a, an event that basically says once anyone completes a form based upon this template, send an email to a uh, specific account. In this case, we'll send it to a GoForms uh, demo Gmail account. And again, once that document is saved or completed, you can see in this case, an email was in fact sent to this uh, demo account. It has the title that I had specified there. It's been completed. I can take a look at it and you can see that there's actually an attachment of that particular document right to that email. So that provides a basic overview of the GoForm system. Again, you create templates, you fill those out on any device, you have access to not only the completed documents, but you have access to every single piece of data to report. You can integrate uh, workflow and collaboration within the system, and there's much more. So thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it, and hope you'll try GoForms soon. Mm -hmm.